What's up guys? On this edition of Smoking Meat with Dante, we have a four and a half pound beef ribs. Never done beef ribs before. I'm gonna try this out. Gonna, I get a lot of uh, questions about me when I'm smoking on the weekend, so I figured out maybe start a little video series, see what happens. Just for starters, this is my grill. It's just a little simple Weber, 24 inches. Um, I like to do the snake method with my charcoal. So kind of loop it around this way in a half C. You're gonna light one end and slow burn it for the next four or five hours. That's my technique with that I'm going with today. So follow along. I did not have any lump charcoal left. So I scooped up this bag of Royal Oak, all natural hardwood briquettes. Uh, that's kind of what we're using today. And just some mesquite chunks. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Simple. So again, I'm just gonna get one side started. Um, that way it's gonna continue to catch the rest of the briquettes on fire slowly. That should last us about five or six hours right here. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna be doing some beef ribs. We got this at Harris Meats. It's a local meat market here in town. They do awesome quality and happy with the prices. Let's get started. So like most ribs, you got a fat side and a bone side. We are going to first remove this membrane. It's gonna make the ribs a little bit more tender and easier to cut into. You can get it with your finger. Normally it comes up pretty easy. I'm trying to take that off. So when I get that membrane taken off, uh, it leaves it a little bit drier, not slimy. So then your seasoning is gonna stick to this a little bit better, easier to tear apart when it's finished. Uh, you're gonna flip it over. You can trim some of this fat if you'd like. Uh, I'll probably just take a little bit off. Not too much, because that's gonna give you some good flavor. All right, once you get it trimmed up, however you'd like, the rest of the fat will basically melt and turn into butter. Um, flip it over, we're gonna use some seasoning. Uh, first off, a little bit of olive oil. This is just gonna help the seasoning stick and end up helping the meat brown up a little bit. Once you got the olive oil on there, we're gonna hit it with some seasoning. Today we're using the Tacticalories Battlegrounds blend. Uh, this stuff is awesome. I started putting on all my steak and beef. Delicious. I'm pretty generous with my seasoning, so we're gonna go ham. like to press it down. If you rub it too hard, it'll make the seasoning come off. All right, so we let the charcoal about 10 minutes ago. Uh, when it starts turning white, that's when I go ahead and throw my wood on. So we're just gonna start with this hot side. Because remember, I did not light all of the charcoal. It's just gonna be a slow burn. So we're gonna start with about that much wood. What I like to do is go ahead and put a few more blocks along the rest of the charcoal and that way when that section of charcoal burns it goes ahead and burns a fresh piece of wood so we're going to start with something about like that 
uh, get the temperature up to about 225. All right, guys, so smoker's ready up to 225. We are going to cook it on indirect heat, bone side down. So indirect heat means the fire is on this side, the meat is on this side, low and slow. Checking it in, guys. Still chilling here at about 225, perfect. A couple hours in, so the bone is starting to pull back a little bit from the meat. Exactly what you want to happen. Uh, one thing that I like to do is hit it with some apple cider vinegar. A couple sprays. Looking good. All right, guys, so we're about five and a half hours in so far. Looking excellent when the uh, meat's pulling back from the bone like that. That means it's gonna be tender. Uh, what we got going here, we're gonna about to do some uh, steamed potatoes. So kind of steamed, cook it on the grill, some yellow potatoes. I'm gonna pour a little beer in the bottom, a little butter, cover it up with some tin foil. Here we go. Add a little salt and pepper to the potatoes. They're uh, going good, a few more minutes on that. We're gonna go ahead and pull off the uh, beef ribs and let those start to cool just a tad. There we go, it's been resting for about 10 minutes. We're gonna cut into it. Look at that. Nice and moist. This is about five and a half hours on the smoker. Who's ready to eat?